Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the and today, chums, on my TV screen, over that way, there, yes, I have the trailer for Atlas. Now, we've just watched Atlas this evening, me and Ivy, and uh, I think it was a pretty good movie. Well, anyway, let's hit the trailer up in the background so you can at least see what I saw. Now, so this has got Jennifer Lopez in it, and apparently she even helped produce it. It's pretty good as a movie, as far as a movie goes. So it's about an AI that used to look after her when she was a kid, and has gone rogue, left Earth, and is coming back to annihilate humankind. But this AI is highly advanced in its sneakiness and its tactics and its ruthlessness. And anyways, short story, well, long story short, Jennifer Lopez ends up stranded on this planet inside a mech that's driven by AI that she has to sync with. But because she mistrusts AI because of this AI that's gone rogue that used to look after when she was a kid, she's very hesitant to sync up with this AI mech. And the relationship between the mech and Jennifer Lopez is what this movie is more about. And the whole relationship with humankind and our mistrust of AI. And there are rogue elements of AI and there's good elements of AI, almost like humankind in that sort of polar opposites, you know, the struggle between light and darkness and good and evil and all that sort of stuff, encapsulated in an AI version of that predicament and that tell that has echoed throughout time. And you know what? It's not bad. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a fantastic movie. It's not a movie that I'm probably going to want to watch again next month or, or in six months' time, but if it came up on the roster, say, a year from now, I might hit it up again, you know? I would say if I was to score this movie, I'd be giving it an 8 out of 10, but not a low 8. It's quite a high 8. I'd put it at about an 8.6. An 8.6 out of 10, because the action was there. It delivered in many different layered ways, and it drew you in in different ways. It's like the planet itself, because I like to play space games like, you know, Star Citizen and... Uh, and Starfield and No Man's Sky, some of the alien planets and the flora, well, the actual biomes in this one planet that they land on, was pretty darn epic. One minute they're in snowy ice peak mountains, the next they're going through some sort of lush vegetation and swampy marshy type looking areas with gnarly esque plants, almost reminiscent of those seen in the film. Avatar. It was it was pretty good. I mean, the effects weren't as good as Avatar, but they weren't far off, people. Anyway, if you've got Netflix, this one is definitely worth a watch. Go hit it up, and I'm, I'm sure you're probably going to like it. I, it's not a 10, it's not a 9, it's just shy. It's about an 8.6 out of 10. That's my thoughts and feelings, people. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. They have a super member who used to make YouTube videos as often as they could. But their channel didn't do as well as it should They don't upload much anymore Don't upload much anymore